Um, I'm allowed to have a tip jar, so I have a really big bucket up here with um, some tips already because the party's winding down already. I've already served most of the customers. And a good tip to do, a good trick would be to put maybe your own dollar or two in the bucket in your tip jar so that people are prompted to leave tips. This is a cash bar. So I have my cash, my trusty calculator, pen and paper. So I made sure to give him a lot of ones so that he could tip me, but he didn't tip me. It'll happen. You have to just take it in stride. Don't get bitter about it. Be thankful that your tip jar has anything in it. <laughs> I am getting paid hourly, so that's okay. Hourly wages range between $17 to $25 an hour, sometimes more. Um, I had one client that paid me $25 an hour just to bartend, and he did not allow a tip jar, but he did add a 30% uh, tip to everything, and it was all cash every like the same night you worked so you can get really awesome clients like that this is a corporation so this isn't like a regular bartending event that I would do elsewhere so I think catering companies I, I've worked for one cater, catering company that only paid um, $13 an hour for a bartender that's really low but you gotta start somewhere. You know, don't say no to it if you don't have anything. Get your experience and look for a better job. So this is a corporation, so they don't um, pay a, a, such a big hourly uh, wage. However, they do allow me to have a tip jar and these people are very generous.